Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Clint with Lighty Contractors and today we're going to talk a little bit on how to check your electric range wiring. For this you're going to need a few tools. Now depending on the style of stove you have, you might need a flathead Phillips or square tip bit. For this particular stove we're going to be using a Phillips hooked to a battery powered drill. Step one, under here on the inside right above the handle are a few screws. You want to go ahead and remove those screws. Next step, you want to gently raise the glass top and you have quite a few wires running right through here. Number one reason to check your wiring is for burn marks. You want to go through and make sure your terminal ends here aren't charred and have a bunch of burn marks on them. Also, go ahead and look at the porcelain around it. Make sure there isn't any sparks that have been thrown there with some burn marks. Run it all the way back down on into the back checking each terminal because a lot of times these terminals can't handle the juice that's running through them so they'll actually spark apart fairly easy fix now if everything checks out there go ahead and put your screws back in now we're going to flip the stove around on the back here it looks like we have quarter inch screws holding it in so we want to go ahead and take this top panel off Now again, you have a bunch of wires running through here, so you want to go ahead and check every single terminal end, making sure you don't have any burnt terminal ends. You can check the back of this circuit board here, make sure there isn't any charred marks. If there are, you want to get the model and serial number and go ahead and order that part through the company. Looks like everything checks out here. I'm Joshua Clint with Lighty Contractors, and you just learned how to check your electrical range wiring.